Hi, I'm Callum Michael. I'm the lead web developer and creator of Ultralytics Hub. Ultralytics Hub is a low-code solution for training vision models, including features like uploading and managing your data sets, monitoring training progress, exporting completed models to several of the most common formats, previewing your models using our API, and deploying completed models to your mobile device for live action previews. There's been a lot of excitement around developments in the AI space of late, but it can still be quite a complex and daunting experience. The original goal behind Ultralytics Hub was to bring the effectiveness of YOLO v5 into the hands of even more people, including those who don't have experience with programming languages like Python. We wanted to create a tool that allows developers to effort effortlessly integrate Vision AI into their products. And following the example of YOLO v5, we wanted simple, fast, and easy to use tools. Ultralytics Hub is now available using our free plan, which gives you a look at what's possible and allows you to manage and train your own models using both public and custom datasets. Soon we plan to roll out our pro and enterprise plans, which will include many more exciting features like cloud training, team management, API deployment options, and many other exciting things that are gonna make the development process even simpler. Our pro plan will benefit professionals with SaaS type solutions, allowing them to invest in their products without the challenges of sourcing and maintaining hardware. While Enterprise will add to this the option to connect your workflow directly to the Ultralytics Hub, making batch operations a breeze. No-code, low-code tools are important in the world of AI, as they allow us humans to focus on what's most important, the product itself, our creativity. The easier a tool is to use, the more likely people are going to be able to innovate with its solutions. At Ultralytics, we want to remove the technical limitations of creating vision AI models and allow everyone to apply their own creativity to this exciting new world of opportunities. Thank you. So here we are at hub.ultralytics.com and this is now publicly available. So feel free to come by and sign up for your free account. I'm gonna go ahead and log into mine for the moment so I can just show you quickly what it's about. We're loading up the site now. Here we can see we land on a dashboard which gives us a little overview of our account. So we can see just how many data sets, projects, and models we currently have, as well as how much storage we are using on our account at the moment. Um, every account does start out with some public uh, modules, so you can take a look at the publicly available data sets and projects and models as well. That's helpful to get you started if you don't have your own custom data yet. So we, we provide some of the most popular data sets. So we'll take a quick look at the COGO 2017 data set over here, which is used quite often. And we can see when we open into the data set, there is a preview of the images in the data set as along with the bounding boxes. We can take a look and see the quality of our data. We also have ways to change between the different splits here if we did wanna focus on the validation or test rather than the training set. And we have down here all the different classes that are available along with the instance count per class. And if we wanted to isolate a specific class, we could go ahead and click, say, for example, on bicycle, and that would filter out the images that only uh, contain bicycles in this case. We can also switch from the images tab across to the overview tab. And here we have uh, just a little bit more information about the data split and the class distribution here in this case in the graph format We can switch between images and instances as well as change the graph from linear to log Just to help you kind of take a look and see at the health of your data set If we go across from data sets back into projects here we can see we provide you with a public project which contains the 10 standard YOLO v5 models uh, and We can click into one of those and I'll show you what a dashboard for model looks like here we see the metrics that are that kind of came in as the model was training. That's quite good for monitoring during training to make sure you have no issues. And we also have the data set that was used to train this model. We can go, go ahead on the tabs on the top here. We can switch to preview and we can go ahead and send this image through the API to actually see detection in real time. 
and we can click across as well to export and here we can export into several different formats and then download the exported format for use on our own hardware. And the models tab is just a way to see all of the models outside of projects in case you can't manage to find it inside of your project. So that's the just kind of helps to filter across all the different models that you have. And we can go ahead and uh, let's create our own custom model real quickly. So what I'll do is I'll go through here and I will upload my own data set. So I'm gonna upload a small example data set just so that this can happen pretty quickly. So here we've uploaded the data set and it is now being processed and analyzed. And I can now click through and see the information regarding this data set. I can also go ahead into the overview tab. And now if I want to train on this data set, I will just need to click through and create my own project. So I'll create a project, say, um, models using Coco 6. And I'm going to upload an image just so that I can remember what this data, what this project is about. Helps to for me to kind of keep on top of things. Now I'll click through into my project and I will create a new model. Here on the create model page, I can choose between any of the standard 10 uh, YOLO v5 architectures and pre-trained models. By default, we're showing you the pre-trained models here. However, in advanced options, you could actually toggle that off and, and use just the architecture, if that was what you needed in your case. Clicking through all of the models, we see the different statistics. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just train on a nano model. And we can go ahead and select the data set we want to train on. So let's use the one we just uploaded in this case. Uh, and that's just because it's nice and small, so the training should be fairly fast. So now I land on the training page, and we have three training options available, although at the moment we do not provide the pro plan just yet. So our cloud option is actually disabled, but this will allow you to train using our service. However, at the moment you can, using your free plan, you can train by connecting to your own Colab notebook or by connecting to your own machine or your own server using our bring your own agent code that we've placed right here. So for this demo, I'll just show you real quick using Colab. And I'm gonna modify the advanced options here and drop it down to 20 epochs just so that this will train nice and fast. What I'm gonna need to do is go ahead and copy this API key and then click in to get into the Colab notebook. And here I just need to run my first cell and that will get everything set up and good to go. Followed by replacing the API key here in the start section. And then I can start training my model. So while that's getting ready there, I'll switch back to the hub and you can see that I'm now connected and good to go. So I'll click done on that. And now we're waiting for our first epoch to start coming through and click through here. And I can see that we're starting to get some metrics coming in. Uh, and you can actually keep an eye on this in real time to make sure you have no issues. And once the training has completed, we're able to go ahead and preview, just as I showed you earlier, and you can preview using our live API. We can also go ahead and export this into any format we might need. That includes exporting into the Ultralytics iOS and Ultralytics Android formats, which allow you to actually preview your model in re real time using the app, which Sergio will show you, talk about in a little bit. Uh, and that's quite exciting and really fun to use as well with your custom models. Well, that was fun, Kalen. Thank you for working us through the hub. And thanks everyone for tuning into our launch of Ultralytics Hub. My name is Sergio Sanchez and I'm the mobile app developer here at Ultralytics. In our research, we've identified an opportunity for improvement in the demoing process. In the past, seeing how your models work in, real, in the real world has been a tedious process. There's never been a truly simple and straightforward way to demo your creations. Additionally, unless you can test your model in the real world, it can be pretty difficult to debug, right? Keeping simplicity front and center, we consider how to solve these challenges while keeping our mission of making AI easy. That's why we've created a brand new Ultralytics app, which utilizes our popular YOLO v5 object detection technology to perform real-time inference using your phone camera. The Ultralytics app is a natural extension of our Ultralytics hub, meaning that you can now bring your models to life in the palm of your hand. Within the app, there are three key functionalities. 
The first one is the ability to browse our catalog of pre-trained YOLOB5 public models. Second, you can manage all of your Ultralibs Hub projects and datasets from anywhere. And third, you can preview your models in real time. <clears throat> so let's get started with Ultralytics app. In this next section, I'll give you a full walkthrough of Ultralytics app's unique features and functionalities. Let me show you how you can use our app to download and test live in the real world a model that you train in Ultralytics Hub web. I'm going to be sharing my screen from my phone to walk you through the process. So, just like in the web version of Ultralytics Hub, you can take a look at your data sets and some information about each of them. Then, once you sign in, you're able to access your personal half projects. Tap any project you like to access its detail page. Here you'll find some useful information about the project, but, but most importantly, you'll see the list of models created under that project. You can tap any model to see its characteristics, as well as training metrics and the dataset it was trained on. In this other tab, you can find the list of formats the model has been ex exported to. Alternatively, you can choose to download your model you want to preview. Let's download the first one, for instance. <clears throat> and once it's complete, tap in that same area to select the model. Now, look at the horizontal list under the search bar. You can browse through the, through the models you mark as favorite and select them on the spot to, um, without even leaving the detection screen. Tap, on the, tap the small button under the list to open the inference settings. Models can also be accessed through the detection screen using these, this search bar. Here you will find all your models grouped by project. Tap the hard icon button to mark, mark it as favorite or tap its name to select it as the model to preview in the detection screen. So let's select the one we downloaded earlier. Now move your phone around your environment to start detecting objects in real time. And that's it. It's as easy as that. Now you know how to use Ultralytix Hub to upload your datasets, train your models, and preview them in real time using your iPhone or Android device. Thanks everyone for tuning in to the launch of our brand new Ultralytix Hub. We're excited to see all the great things you accomplish.